Resident Evil 5. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm just going to be playing through some Resident Evil 5 for, you know, quite a bit. Um, so if you're watching this on Twitch, you're probably going to be seeing all this live. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you're going to be seeing me start from right here. So I'm going to be playing on Veteran because um, I suck at professional and so does AI Sheva. So give me a second. As far as special settings go... As far as costumes go, Chris is going to be in stars, because that's the best. And Sheva, sure, tribal. Why not? And just because, why not? I'm going to be using the retro filter just because, I don't know, I like it. And I'm also going to be using infinite ammo. <laughs> so, let's get started on chapter... Uno... Dash... Uno... And me playing as Chris... Because... I don't know, I don't mind playing as Shava, it's just... Eh! I prefer, prefer Chris's shoulder view. Let's get rid of that shoulder because you never use the longbow. Get rid of that. And. Hmm. Nah. That should be fine for you. What do I need though? We'll fix these two up. Okay, good enough for me. Captain Deshant here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. I should have seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alamar. 
Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. So you'll be accompanying me to the destination? Yes. Tensions are running high ever since the change in government. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American, BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go. Casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day, I'll find out. Hey, hey! Who you in Kenji? Alafanya nini hafa? You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. I have a job to do, and I'm gonna see it through. Scenes are finally over, which means it's time to start playing. So there's a conversation if you stay back in this starting area for about a minute and a half with Sheva. And there's also this cutscene if you go over here to the right. Just a couple little hidden things. And then if you go here, well. Oh, Poor guy. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. Watch your backs. Roger also, if you look up in that building there, you can see the megaphone dude from later in the chapter. Oh, and that's probably a chicken that they're beating up in the uh, bag. I don't know for sure, but I mean, small enough bag, I assume that's what's going on. Also, dude over here was. Basically just Saddam Hussein. Okay, time to move on. That's enough for now. This place cleared out in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, there's two of us now. You can actually take us to the place. You too. This way. But maybe because of the new government, the people around here are a little on edge. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I have your weapons for you here. Jet them. Grab your weapons. The operation's already started. Oh boy, what's in here? Pistols that I don't even need. Okay. I'm not gonna choose the easy way out and just use the uh, infinite rocket launcher for everything. Some things, but not everything. Down squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right, and apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find a man named Irving. 
is our only lead. And be careful out there. You know, I don't think I've ever tried to go back to this door. Oh, just nothing. No investigation. No opening it. Nothing. So yeah, if you have infinite ammo, pretty much the only thing you'll ever find in crates or Remember being dropped by enemies is um, gold, which I may not be as big as you. So I'm really gonna find. Oh no! Wait, can I do it? Can I get here fast enough? Yep, he was there for a split second. Oh yeah, but that herb right there is always going to be there no matter what. Um, there are a few like predetermined spots for things, especially herbs and ammo. Did you hear that? It came from that building. Well then let's go investigate. Jeez, how weird aiming is. Even though I've been playing this like a ton. So yeah, that scene is like super awesome, in case you don't know. I mean, it's more of an introduction to whatever these things are than Resident Evil 4 had. There's just kind of like, angry guy, and then kind of tries to stab you with a pitch pitchfork or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna deal with this because uh, I really kind of want that treasure that you get from doing this. That's not even that difficult. You just use a Hydra and Lightning Hawk. Oh, how dare you! Oh, oh. Oh, there goes my accuracy. Yeah, so again, this isn't really that difficult once you get infinite ammo. I mean... I'm not gonna lie, it's actually kind of difficult if you don't. Uh, well, depending on what guns you use. If you use something with piercing, well, then it gets a whole lot easier. Or if you just use a shotgun. Shotguns are pretty helpful. So are uh, infinite rocket launchers, but you know. That's just kind of personal preference. So, dude should be showing up with dynamite pretty soon. Oh god, he got me good. The wrench, too.
Oh, there's Dynamite Guy. Okay, well, and just because I was an idiot, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna find a red herb and a green herb again anyways, so... Might as well fully heal myself. Last guy. Yep. Come in, Kirk. The locals were hostile and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, do we, Kirk? Roger on the locals. Take your orders. Okay. What does that mean? Was HQ expecting this? So, another reason I'm not playing on professional is because in professional. You will pretty much die in a single hit. Um, okay. Take it. Roger. And you're kind of bleed out meter or dying status, however you want to call it. Uh, you runs out it. far faster, you like okay. in three seconds rather than closer to five or six. And things like herbs and pre-placed grenades, ammo, they don't spawn. Um, so yeah. Just figured I'd point that out. Try to Come on, Roger. teach you, you anything Roger. while playing, just because why okay. not. Oh yeah, use Sheva as a pack mule. It works, so... Oh man. I don't know why I'm awake. This is way too early for me. Take it. Okay. What could be through this door? Why don't you pick that up, Shava? Thanks. Wait, did you? Okay, yeah. What's in here? Oh, take it! Even though I really don't need any more handgun ammo. Even if I'm trying to do a actual playthrough with actual ammo, I have a bit over 2,000 rounds of handgun ammo, so, uh... Take that. Wow. How strong this gun actually is. Even though it's like... Second weakest handgun. Ah oh well, it's awesome anyways. Hey Shadow, do me a favor, go attack for a minute.
Okay. You shut up. We need backup and we need it right now. Oh, you're right. shooting back there. Okay. Well, go back to using your pistol. You that, Sheva? Helps on the way. Got it. I don't want to Just hope he gets here quick. Oh no, they're coming through the roof. Whatever will we do? Could big guy over here actually be of help? Up and play, because why not? Get off of her. Not very nice. Man, I forget how much fun the Hydra was. Let's see. Okay, Shelby, you have plenty of open space. You should be able to carry anything that I tell you to carry. Take that. I'll take that. Take it. Okay. Take it. Thanks for the help. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Take it. Roger. Take that. Uh, okay, you already got the grenades. Fruit over here. Oh, I know this is gonna have scorpion because it always does. What else is around here? Fruit? Hand grenade. Yes. Hand grenades like to be in fruit. Well known fact. Sheva very much loves to hold my hand grenades. Okie dokie. Dive through here. This also has a ton of great stuff. Like an herb. On, wow, another herb. Well, I'll hold on to that, because Sheva is... He has a tendency to not be very good with herbs. Hey! Stop it. Anything else useful in here? Nope. I'm gonna go outside, I guess. Hey, Sheva, there's another grenade over here for you to pick up. Yeah, so this level gets really easy once you actually have some good weapons. Because, well... I don't know. Hey, Sheva, here, heal. There you go. Now I can take this herb. Ah, you fell. I didn't stomp you correctly, but you still died. Weak. Hey! Climbing over things. It's not nice. Oh my god, there's a there's a barrel under there. What no! Jump down. Oh. Okay, pick up some gold I guess. That works too. What might you have? Ah not a much. So we'll go to the last area of things. Come on, Sheva. So what exactly am I holding? Come on, come on. Okay. You grab it. Yeah, you're gonna need to pick up like all this ammo, Sheva. Full. Well, I'll just get rid of this. I don't really need it. Hey. 
and I can't even pick up that. Oh wow, he's already here. Oh. Well that sucks because there were some hand grenades up here. Oh well. Maybe next time. Should be a nest. Yep. Oh man, I, you know what? I bet if I hadn't stayed around to get that one treasure from the big horde, that I maybe would have gotten the nest on time as well. Hey guys, I just want to thank you all for watching and just kind of let you know why these videos look so weird. So I originally stream them on Twitch, doing a few chapters at a time. Then I export them to YouTube download them and then edit them so that's why they're gonna kind of start and stop at odd points most of the time I just wanted to clarify that and let you guys know um, but once again thank you all for watching I'll see you next time